Dacaware was a trade name used by Davies Molding back in the 60s for phenolic knobs. The company still exists today and makes this knob. The knob shown comes from WABC Studios in New York City going back to the 60s. It was common on audio broadcast consoles now considered vintage electronic gear. These knobs can be 3D printed with good results. The company started in 1933 and is known by some as the Harry Davies Molding Company, named after its owner. The company still manufactures a range of phenolic molded knobs, handles, cases, and more. See the links in the description for the company's website, drawing, free CAD models, and a source for the original knob. As a fun project, I went ahead and did a 3D model of this classic knob, printed it in both white and galaxy black PETG filament. I thought a few folks might be interested in how this turned out. Here's a look at the original knob, which includes a skirt and knob as separate parts. You'll need to print these as separate parts. I created a skirt and fluted knob files to deal with this. Printing your own knob means you have control over the design, size, color, and any other cosmetic factors you wish to change. Unlike the clip-on knob, this design includes a brass insert and two set screws so it's strong. Print times are approximately 1 hour and 15 minutes for the knob and 45 minutes for the skirt. Download the models and export the parts as STL files. This works well on my Prusa i3 MK3 printer and slicer. The skirt snaps over the knob and is secured with three number 5 by 40 3 8 inch long screws. These will tap themselves into the softer plastic. A recess has been provided for the screw heads. I made the 15 millimeter long insert from brass with a quarter inch hole to fit most standard shaft sizes. It's a light press fit and stays in place as a result of the set screws being long and acting as locking pins. I used my arbor press to install the brass insert. The Bridgeport mill was used to drill and tap the brass insert for two 632 set screws. The set screw holes are centered between the knob flutes. Use a precision parallel top or bottom to position the knob for drilling. Carefully tap the holes through the plastic and brass. My set screws are 3 8 inch long. Run the set screws in being careful not to cross thread them. If you need an index mark on the skirt, heat a razor blade and melt in a groove. Fill the groove with a contrasting paint color. The knob's finish won't compare to an injection molded part, but the printed part looks pretty nice and is functional. Let's take a quick look at the FreeCAD 3D models and how they're printed. Okay, here are the FreeCAD models. I have two files, link in the description to the models here. This is pretty straightforward. This is the skirt and you can see what was done here. It was really just a solid created by revolving a profile. So let's go in here and take a look at that. There's your profile right there. That was revolved 360 degrees and then that created this solid skirt. And I added the holes for the screws so this can be attached to the knob and then there's a relief down here for these the heads of the screws so that's kinda how that was put together this one was pretty straightforward pretty simple just using standard features let's take a look at the knob itself it's a little bit more complicated and what's going on here we can go around and take a look here at this you could see this is hollow in here and this is how the Davies knob was made. There are the holes for the screws and then these are the holes right here for the set screws. That's all pretty standard stuff. Just a brief look here. What I did to get this knob shape is as follows. This is kind of busy but I used an octagon and then I use the preserve edge chamfer right in here and then I use the center arc and I had a little trouble getting this to be fully constrained but I finally got it and I set it up so that I could take this sketch and copy it and then reduce the construction circles diameter and a few other parameters here and actually get this to shrink in so what happened here is this was an additive pad and then I did a subtractive pad right here so we can take a look at this sketch right here let's see if we can actually we're gonna go down here to get it okay so that's sorry for that that's that's the sketch that's a little bit inboard 
of the original sketch that we saw. So this one I padded and I used that to subtract out from the additive pad and that created, you could see it here, that created this knob. And then I just used a cylinder to um, an additive cylinder and I cut this hole which is a subtractive cylinder to give me a place to press in my insert and that's the whole knob and then the, you know the set screws the set screw holes I just put in there they're, they're pretty easy to do but again the, the, these two models are linked in the description you can pick these models up and feel free to use them in your own projects play with them as you see fit and hopefully these will uh, will be valuable and hopefully this project has been interesting so thanks for watching.